So mostly, I really love living in the country. Um, we're down windy back roads. So you have to take like six different windy turns and go north, south, east, and west all in one little 15 minute trip to get to my house from town. And um, you know, we're tucked away. Like you have to know where you're going to get to my house. Um, and it's fun, it's, you know, it's nice. But we, we're, we are way out there tucked away down a lot of windy back roads. And the biggest peril of living like that is the fear of running out of gas. So I'm just hanging out in my shop out here and I was just thinking about something that's kind of kind of cool. So I wanted to show you. Um, in our old house, we had a music room. It was actually, I think, the formal dining room of the house and um, we put the piano in one corner. We had, had a couch in there. And uh, because we had a couch, we needed a coffee table, at least in my mind. So I made one. Um, uh, both Don and I are songwriters, so we have tons of lyrics, which is the words to songs um, from songs that we've written. And so I printed a bunch up and I decoupaged them onto this old coffee table I got a hold of, and I love it. And we don't have room for it in this house, so it's just become my shop table, which it's kind of a bummer, but it's still fun and I enjoy looking at it every day. There it is, it's just sitting right there. I think my paper cutter's underneath there bunch of sawdust but all over the top of this and worn over the years of not just craft supplies but cups of coffee and who knows what else but this is all songs like I wrote a song called it could be worse this is a rock in a hard place used to be there um, that's another lyric from a song I wrote this one Don writes, and he has a few songs on here, like this is a, a song of his, this is too, don't say goodbye, but he wrote that, it looks like he wrote that in 99, but um, these are all just lyrics from songs that we've written, that, and that's kind of cool because I guess to me it's just normal that were songwriters, but that may just not be something that everybody else could make because you have to have a pretty good collection. I printed off so many when I made this that I wasn't even able to use. That's a line from a song I wrote. When I look into your eyes, I lose the grip I had on reality. And out of the blue, that's from a song called Out of the Blues, Out of the Blues, There You Were. That's a line from one of Don's songs. As a gift one day she gave the book to me. When we just begun. Just a whole bunch of like really fun little pieces of the songs that we've, you know, we've written and some whole lyrics like when you're ready to love someone or take me along for the ride. And I guess I just realized as much as this is just normal in our lives, it just isn't probably for everybody else. I was else. thinking I probably should sing a, a song or two for you guys one of these days soon. So I just thought I'd show you that and maybe when I pull out my guitar and sit out here with it, I'll show you where the lyrics are on the coffee table, if they are. Because um, I've written hundreds of songs and Don's written a bunch and they're not all on there obviously, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Thought you might like to see it. So I was thinking about all those songs on my lyric coffee table and um, so many of them are like forgotten. Like I have not sang them through in a decade or more, you know? And um, well, I think it's probably a good idea to sing through some of them uh, so I don't forget. Um, so this is a song I started in uh, 2000. I remember uh, being in my first apartment and working on this song. Um, it's, not, it's not a true story. <laughs> Ask me one more time, and then you hit your knees and beg. Saying, darling, oh, I promise I won't do it again. It's kind of like a book that I've read a hundred times. Now suddenly I'm reading something new between the lines. 
Cause in between your I'm sorry in between your forgive me Right around I promise it won't happen again Somewhere near I love you Cause all the pain I'm feeling And the truth I'm learning to read In between your lies I'm trying to be strong daughter over to a friend of mine's house she lives actually pretty close to me but it's still about let me think how many turns four different back roads windy curvy back roads you know you can't go super fast because they're curvy it's like craziness I don't know who made these road lines but anyways um, I dropped her off over there because uh, my girlfriend very sweetly was driving um, my daughter with hers to cheer camp on the way home from dropping her off, my gas light went on. Uh, there's no gas stations anywhere near me. Like I have to go out to a main road and that's not close. So I honestly kind of just forgot about it. So I got in the car to go to the eye doctor appointment that I'm on my way to. And I get in the car and I start it up and I'm like, crap. I'm on, I'm on, I think it was 19 miles still empty. So my gas light's on. I have, I don't know how many miles I have to go. You know, that's never quite accurate. That stupid miles till empty countdown is, it's dumb because it's not accurate. But for some reason, when you're going around all these curvy back roads, it seems to go down a little faster. The tick, tick, tick down is a little faster. But I um, have been on zero miles till empty for probably about 15 minutes now. And I'm still going for, I'm going about 50 miles an hour here and I'm heading to a town next door to mine and I literally have not passed a gas station, nor have I gotten, gone out of my way to miss a gas station. There just aren't any in this area where I'm heading. And so, uh, yeah, pray that I don't run out of gas because <laughs> I really need to go get the eye doctor. I just, my eyes checked for some new contacts, but um, mostly because this is frustrating. I feel like that's a business that we could use some more gas, right? But anyways, so I've been driving now on zero miles and em till empty. Well, let me just show you. So I've been going about this speed on this back road with zero miles till empty for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes now. This, this, uh, this car lies. That's a, that's a lie. It is not zero till empty because I've gone probably 12 or 13 easy, if not more. But anyways, I guess I'm glad that the Honda Odyssey, um, the, uh, miles till empty counter was created for moms. Moms like me who either live in the country or just forget a lot, but hopefully we'll get to gas before it's too late. Or that'll be interesting.